did you have any discussions with Fred Hoyle about this particular issue? And did he come round in the end? You, you know, he did not. Um, I mean, I, Fred Hoyle was a great scientist, uh, who I respect. But he just could not let go somehow toward the end of his career. Um, it was a shame. Uh, uh, we did have discussions. And during that time, the evidence for the hot big bang was still pretty meager. And, and so he had a scientific case that was valid for looking at this alternative to an expanding universe. Uh, and I remember his one statement, the scales of time and length in cosmology are so vast that there is no way that the subject can be empirically established. It must instead be discovered by philosophy. At the time, he had a valid point, but he failed to recognize that the empirical basis was being discovered and that the discoveries increased to such richness that uh, we soon had a very persuasive case that yes, the universe is not forever, that it had to have been evolving from a dense state. Those tests of the theory have continued. Uh, by now, we have a pretty tight matrix of evidence that sure looks like the relativistic expanding universe is a very good approximation to nature. Well, the, the cosmic microwave background radiation is a very powerful piece of evidence for... Oh, it certainly it is. Found. And I just wonder, what did Hoyle make of, of that? I mean, how would you explain that in uh, any way? Uh, you recall he had the quasi-steady state cosmology in which there were intervals of expansion contraction, expansion, and contraction wow. with a with a general trend that looked like the steady state. I don't remember the details. Hmm. He had the quasi-steady state theory. It was not at all ever promising to me, even though, even because I'm very much influenced by the evidence, uh, it just never seemed a natural way to fit the evidence. No. So he, I think, died an unhappy man. I think a tragedy because he was so such a good scientist. 